Hey guys, it's Ashley from Wagon Tails Trading. In today's tutorial, I will teach you how to sit, lie down, and just for fun, roll over. Something that you may want or necessarily need is a clicker. It sounds like this. Um, anytime your dog does something that you want them to do and they're doing a good job at it, all you have to do is say, if you ask them to sit as soon as their bed hits the ground, use the clicker and then reward. Um, you can get one of these at PetSmart. Um, Feeder Supply, you can order one off of Amazon, Chewies.com, anything like that where you can find a clicker. Also, another thing you're going to need is yummy, yummy, yummy treats. I use Melkbone uh, Trail Mix. Uh, it has grains and oats. Um, it's crunchy, and it also has real beef and sweet potatoes, so it's a mix between crunchy and chewy. And another thing you're going to need, or you don't have to technically need, but it really helps, is a treat bag, a, a rope goes through here and you can click it off and put it on your hip. So anytime you have a leash or anything like that, it's just easy access. So let's get started. This is Layla. She's a seven month old American Blue Healer. Uh, me and my fiance have been working with her since she was about eight weeks old. She's learned a lot. She knows about 11 commands right now. So they are a very, very smart breed. I'm very proud of the progress that she's made. And I know I have the treats. I'm the treat lady. All right, so Layla already knows sit, lie down, and roll over, but I'll explain why I'm doing these tricks, how I got her to do this. Um, a very good way to indicate to your dog about what you want is put the treat to their nose, let them sniff it, and then just go where you want. So that would be lie down, so just gradually lie her down. Good girl. Good job. Good lie down. So anytime your dog does something that you want, any command that you want them to do, and they do it, you would say, good job, good sit, good lie down. Anything that is positive towards them, you would praise. You want to do sit and lie down one more time? Hmm? If I can get my treat back. All right, now stand up, stand. Good girl. Come on. See how she follows my hand with the treats? She knows I have them and she wants them. She's digging at my hand to try and get them. All right. Stand. Stand. Sit. Good girl. It was a chewy treat. All right. Can you lie down? Lay down. Good girl. So with roll over, you do the same thing. But what you do is you take the treat to their hip until they get into this position where they're lying on their side and just gradually roll them over. Good girl. And do all over one more time. One more time. Roll. Good girl. So make sure you take it to their hip, because once they get to the hip area, they are in this position where they are lying on their side. And just roll with them. Good job, baby. Good job. Um, some dogs may not react to treats very well. They might not just be their thing. Um, try toys. Um, just praising them is a good way to indicate something that they want. I know. Anytime they jump on you like this, just turn your back saying, hey, I don't want you to jump on me. I don't like that. I don't want to play. So you'll subtly catch the hint that, hey, I'm not supposed to do that. So, I hope you really like this tutorial. Next tutorial, we are going to do stand from sit and lie down. And then we are also going to do shake. So, just a quick recap and a quick review. Make sure when you're using your treats, you hold it up to your dog's nose. Let it sniff it. Um, just gradually move it around. Let it get used to it. Um, saying where you want it to go. What do you want your dog to do? Anything like that. Um, I highly, highly recommend a clicker. Um, I like it a lot better because it training goes a lot quicker because they know as soon as you click it that is what you want and just they know automatically it's very fast um if your dog is noise sensitive um to loud noise thunder um a loud pop a gum popping anything like that um this clicker has a um knob to where you can adjust the sound um or you can use something like a pin that has the same kind of effect where it has a click um, another thing about this tutorial is when you do sit and lie down and you want your, if you want your dog to do that trick and you want it to learn very fast, don't force your dog 
Don't press on your dog's back when you want it to lie down. You can pat them and tell them, hey, this is what I want, I want you to go down. But don't forcefully force their butt down because that will result in a negative effect. Um, your dog would get up, can get upset with you and possibly lash out. Or they could be totally turned off and stop training because they don't want to deal with it. So I hope you like this tutorial. Stay tuned for the next tutorial for a stand from lie down and sit and shake. If you have any training questions such as potty training or training in general, or you just want me to do a cool trick on one of these videos, you can email me at wagontailstraining at gmail.com. That is W-A-G-G-I-N-T-A-I-L-S training at gmail.com. I hope you all really like this video and hope you all learned something valuable today from one of these videos. And I hope you do so in the future.